Hello and welcome back to Drugstore Beauty Week. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Este and I have really been enjoying everything that's going on. We're like sending each other messages and screenshotting tweets and everything. Este just did yesterday the no makeup makeup look. So I'll link that video somewhere on the screen, probably around here right now. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure to click on it and go over and watch that video. And I'll also leave a link in the information box below as well. But this video is my final video, so it is gonna be one of my favorite videos to film and do it's a haul. I have a lot of stuff here next to me which I'm going to show you guys now. I have a bit of elf stuff, a bit of Kiko stuff, went to boots as well and I'm going to start everything off with the elf stuff because that's what I'm most excited about. So I was kind of browsing the website. I did tweet saying what do you guys recommend and the first thing I added to my online order was the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation. Now I thought these would be quite good creams to contour with so I picked up two shades. The first one I got was pretty dark and I thought I'd use that one to contour and then the second one was really light so I thought I'd use that one to highlight and I've only tried this once guys these are seriously pigmented creams and they're not I thought because it said mattifying I thought they'd be kind of like cream to powder but they're actually like creamy creams if that makes sense you guys know my obsession with baked blush is real like oh my gosh do I love a good baked blush so as soon as I saw their baked blushes online I was like thanks I got the shade rose and by the way guys, like online when you're ordering stuff, the colors that it looks like in the swatches that they give you don't match up to what comes because this looked like a peachy pink but actually it came and it was kind of more like a brownie peachy pink. I'm pretty intrigued to see how this will compare to the Milani but like on quick swatch it doesn't look as pigmented as the Milani one. Should I actually put this on now? Is that a bit much? Do I care? This could go horribly wrong or horribly right applying this over what I have right now. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Let's see what this looks like here. Mm. Oh it actually looks quite nice. I really like that. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera too much because it's like a really, really subtle color, but it's kind of like a brownie contoury color, but also with a peachy pinky shimmer in it. So I feel like this could be a great all-in-one cheek product. Let's just do the same on the other side so my face doesn't look lopsided, you know? Obviously, I couldn't go to the e.l.f. website without trying one of their palettes. Oh, I'm pulling out 110 things here. What's going on? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this looks pretty pretty, doesn't it? This is their baked eyeshadow palette. And I just thought the shade range in here was really cool. You have like some really nice like blues, some grays, some browns, some golden shimmers. And on first swatch, these are like super, super pigmented. Let me know if you guys have tried this or if you've tried any other e.l.f. eyeshadows. I have heard so much about this product. It's the e.l.f. Mineral Glow Shimmer. It's like a loose powder. You're supposed to apply it to the tops of your cheekbones, down the center of your nose, just to give a really great like all over glow. I'm after a really wet looking highlight so I think when I was reading reviews and stuff that's what made me go onto the e.l.f. website in the first place because everyone was saying that this is a really great like loose natural but almost like dewy wet looking highlight. Got a couple of eyeshadows. Let's see what this one is. Oh this is so fun. This is the long lasting lustrous eyeshadow. This is in the gold shade. Oh Oh, guys, it's like moussey, but you wouldn't think it would be moussey. It feels like a cream. Oh, this is rather snazz. It has a really intense silver glitter in it, which I'm not too keen on, but maybe it won't translate onto my eyelid. It feels super, super creamy and lightweight. I'm really excited. I'm probably going to review all of this in one post on my blog, so stay tuned for that. I'll leave my blog loving link below if you guys want to follow me on there. Then I also got a pigment eyeshadow as well. I really liked this look I saw in Kim Kardashian. It was like a really nice navy blue smoky eye and I thought I definitely want to try that out and see how it looks on me. It was in the shade Breezy Blue. Okay, that's everything I got from e.l.f. I'm going to move on to Kiko. I went a bit cray in Kiko, guys. I love Kiko so, so, so much. And the first thing I'm going to show you is again sticking on the navy blue eyes theme. This is an eyeshadow. Just look at that. Aren't you just like, whoa, I need that on my lids right now but I'm not even someone that gravitates towards this color. It's the shade 165. It is so, 
so so gorgeous i'm so excited to use this let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on it or anything thought i would try something new live outside the box yolo and everything I'm going through a real blush phase right now if you couldn't tell and i saw this and i thought it was so cute and pretty it's from their new limited edition collection and it's their mosaic blush it's in the shade what shades is this it's inspiration rose coral i gave it a swatch in the store and i was like dang that is pretty it does swatch really pale so i feel like if you're any darker than me this probably wouldn't show up on you this looked really really cool this was the color oh i can't even open it the color correction wheel Ooh, so you have like an orange in there you have a yellow you have a green a purple the point of all these colors is to help counteract anything you've got going on on your face so like the green counteracts any red spots the orange counteracts dark bags i gave these a swatch in the store and i really wanted something that had quite a thick consistency to it something with like a really strong coverage and these definitely have that so i'm so excited i'm especially excited for this orange shade because i feel like on bags that will just look so so good in a nice way that sounded so wrong i was like on my eye bags it will look good but i mean it will like really help counteract them in a good way another two things i saw for my under eye bags these are their dark circle tone erasers and one was in yellow and one was in orange i am obsessed with the yellow concealers guys seriously i think they work so well at brightening up my face i normally would only wear them when i'm doing like a full face kind of full on going out makeup look but even now when i'm like going out in the day or something i'm like i kind of want that yellow concealer on my face because it just lifts your entire face when you're looking sallow the one i use normally is from l'oreal and it does have quite a thick consistency and does take like a sponge or something like a beauty blender or a real technique sponge to really like work it into the skin so i felt the consistency of these and they felt much more lightweight than those i love long lasting eyeshadow sticks my favorite ones are from by terry but the Kiko do such great dupes for them. I had the shade 6 and I think I finished it. It was such a beautiful, beautiful one. I picked up the shade 37. It's kind of like a not Amelia colour in a way. It's almost like a burnt amber with a hint of purple running through it. Quite excited to try this out just because I want like a really warm, smoky eye. I really wanted to try something really quite purpley and I thought this would work as a nice base. I saw they had these on sale. This was their glow blush and highlighter stick and i love things that come in stick form i think they're so so easy to use especially when summer comes around and you just want to be like mer, mer, blend 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 well <laughs> but there's noises i sounded like a little bird from finding nemo i was like Meh. <laughs> but like Meh. it says blush and highlighter so you have like a warm peachy color and also more kind of darker shade this may seem like a bit of a weird eyeshadow color for me to buy and i'm not quite sure what happened to me when i bought a bright orange eyeshadow but I thought for like a sunset kind of eye, this could be so beautiful. I don't know what came over me when I was buying these eyeshadows, guys. Like, seriously, I was like swatching the most random colors because I really wanted to like add a new shade to my collection. I just thought if I put a bronze color all over my lid and then had this orange in my crease, it would just look so unique and really different. I'm gonna give this a go. I'm definitely gonna post a picture on Instagram when I tried out, so make sure you guys go and follow me on there. I felt this powder and I was like, whoa. I was like, that is one smooth, buttery. Does anyone say AF? Like, do people say that aloud? I was about to say as beep, and then I was like, maybe I'll just say AF. Buttery AF powder. Did anyone get that? Is that even a thing? Do people say that aloud? I don't know. It felt to me like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. It's a soft light powder. Oh my gosh, it is so, so beautiful. I had quite a lot of stuff I needed to buy in boots. The first one was my super glamorous tanning mitts. I know this is so random. Guys, these are the best tanning mitts. They're from Soul Tan. They are so good. Best tanning mitts ever. If you're a self-tan addict, try these. Also got my favorite body scrub. This is a Soap and Glory Pulp Friction. Again, sticking to the whole fake tan thing. If you're looking for a scrub that is gonna get into those skin and get into those skins no get on your skin and like get down and in there and really like get out that last layer of fake tan that's sometimes so hard to get off try this one because it is so 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 good the reason why i went to boots because i was literally stalking this palette like seriously stage five killing a style it's the new l'oreal la palette nude and i love the purpley themed one they bought out in christmas and now they bought out a more amelia appropriate one it's this bronzy goldeny browny smoky eye palette it has 10 shades a mix of matte and shimmers you actually have five matte 
five shimmery shades. I cannot tell you how pumped I am for this palette. Like, I literally have been stalking boots waiting to find it. Okay guys, I found one shade of the Maybelline Superstay polishes that I have not tried. You guys know, I literally own every single shade in the range. I am so obsessed with these polishes. This was the one shade I found and I was like, oh my god, mine, I don't have this shade. It's Forever More Green. Polishes are amazing. They actually last longer than seven days on me without chipping. Their formula is so great. It goes opaque in two coats, maybe even one if you're in a rush, but I like to do two just to increase the longevity of the polish. And the brush is incredible. It makes it so easy for you to paint your nails. I also got the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation. You guys know I am L'Oreal True Match obsessed. That is my foundation of choice. You probably saw me rave about that in my top 10 drugstore holy grail products video. But I wanted to try another foundation from them. It says light infusing foundation, a lit from within look. So that sounds pretty good to me. And in all honesty, I really like the rose gold packaging. That is the end of my haul and the end of drugstore beauty week. Tomorrow, Estee is going to be uploading her last and final video. But make sure you guys watch yesterday's video, which was her no makeup makeup look, which I will leave somewhere on the screen right now and I will also leave all the other drugstore beauty week videos in the information box below we've had so much good stuff we've had hauls and foundation routines and makeup tutorials and drugstore holy grail literally Estee and I have been messaging every single night screenshotting and sending pictures of your tweets and instagrams and everything so I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying it let me know if there are any other series you'd like to see in future and I'm always on my social media in case you're gonna miss me which I will link somewhere on the screen now and in the information box below as well. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Loads of you guys have actually been asking me how I apply this. Now I don't buff it in, I kind of like sweep it down my cheeks as you can see now and then I just kind of like blend in the edges. It's melting. It's melting. Oh my god, that's Oh my gosh, there's stuff on the inside.